there, I guess something to build off of that is there's a lot of opportunity that comes out of that struggle as well, right? When you are faced with something that like you don't have a choice but to survive and figure out how to survive, there's a lot of opportunity and innovation that comes out of that as well. So I think we are in kind of an interesting sh like shift in in the globe, the global way of doing things because of this um, crisis. Well, you, there's going to be, I mean, we could have a whole podcast about how this is the next issue that is going to happen in the global South is a humanitarian crisis. Let's, let's talk about that. That's why I decided not to give you guys an outline. That way we could have a conversation. So I don't, I, I don't, I, I haven't really looked into this. This is more of just my opinion. <laughs> let's, let, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I don't, I don't see how that is not the next phase of, of this because you shut off commerce and just the basics of daily life um and when you have a lot of poverty in a country a lot of those those you know um workers that are no longer getting any sort of employment they don't have any income coming in they don't have any ability to purchase food there isn't really food to be purchased a lot of places so when there's such a halt like that you're gonna have issues like starvation and um conflict and just the things that are going to result from that I, I don't i maybe people are talking about it i haven't looked into it that in depth but that's going to be the next global phase crisis of, of this thing i think at least in the global south so I, no i think uh, i think you're hitting on a, on a really valid point because if we if we just uh you know take a step back and and remove ourselves from the from america right from the united states of america we just start going to other locations of the world that probably don't probably don't have the same structure that we may have over here